Hello, I will demonstrate TailFNCS doing carry Ethernet service provisioning. I have a network of Cisco IS and XR devices, so same vendor but two different OSs. It could as well have been other vendors as well. The first thing you do when you bootstrap NCS this is at the installation time is that you discover the current config in the network. So I'm grabbing the config, interpreting what's out there on the devices and store that internally and that, that's important. Whenever we do service provisioning, we do a minimum diff from the current state of the network to the desired state. So it's not just sort of a static config we send through the network, it's always computed at the stage when you request the service to be provisioned. We can go back to the service page here and um, start creating e-lines in this case. Let's create a service for ACMA1 and we have the service there so we can start dragging and dropping the devices into it and we can take this guy connect to that guy for example and that's an EVC1 give it a VLAN number and pick the interfaces for example at this point we haven't talked to the network yet this is we have started a transaction where we populate the service instance so currently we have one connection between these two we can continue for the same customer connect CSR0 with C2 Let's EVC2, give that a VLAN as well, and pick the interfaces. And that, that's fine for now. So I have two EVCs for, for this customer. And when I ask NCS to provision this at, to the network, uh, since we discovered the config, we can check the current config and calculate where to go in order to have this running in the network and you can always dry run it so dry commit dry run at a generic layer doesn't show the individual c live commands etc it shows you the the diff at the configuration level independent so this is the config we will calculate and send to devices you can also look at the native in this case cisco c live so this is the commands we will send to c0 c2 etc and so we're running on top of MPLS in this case now start the transaction so the service is provisioned to the network and we always do transaction safe provisions so in case of either of these devices would have an, an error in, in providing this configuration, we would have rolled back the other devices and we have rollback mechanisms also over non-transactional devices. So none of the devices would have been touched. We always leave the network in a consistent state. So this was creating a service, uh, but that, that's just the start of a service lifecycle. It's also very important to be able to, to change services. So let's say we, we have this ACMA1 up and running. Uh, but we we need another EVC for this existing instance and you can easily do that. Let's say we would like to connect CSR0 to C1 for example. EVC3, so note well what I'm doing now is I'm updating an existing service instance. So uh, we can check the diffs here. So we'll just add more configuration to the network to have this service running. Um, let's look at another change. We can take one of the EVCs here and just change the state. So we would like this EVC to get inactive. And what would that mean to the devices? And again, we're calculating the 
what's needed. So here we can see that we actually render a shutdown command to the interfaces that are being used by, by this EVC. So we can make that happen in the network as well. Done. Um, goes red there. That also indicated on the map. Uh, so far in this demo, I've just used the web UI. Um, you can do all the, the functions across all of the northbound UIs and, and APIs we have. Another interesting UI for, for network engineers is the network CLI. So both the services and the devices are available in the CLI. And not well, I, I have Cisco in the network. When you run our CLI, you can pick if you prefer a Juniper style or a Cisco style. And the, since the CLI works with the internal representation, it's not a cut through CLI. So just to make that clear, uh, I've started the Juniper style CLI towards NCS, although I have Cisco devices in the network. So let's say you would like to view and inspect the service over the CLI as well. You can do show command. In this case, well, and there's of course tab completion. So th this shows you what's available here. And we have had ACMA up and running. So this is the ACMA service. And um, we can modify that if you like. Um, we can take EBC1 and why don't we change the VLAN for that into one, two, three. So this was again a modification of an existing service instance. I did it over in the CLI instead of the web UI. We can do a dry run. See what are the underlying changes in the network to make this happen. So we'll see what's happening here. This is the change and as well as in the what we did in web UI, you can also see the native form or the Cisco CLI commands that are needed that will be sent to the devices for this change to happen. So this is what will be generated southbound and we can commit that. That was the change. Um, I initially talked about transactions. This was the sunny day, so everything did, did fly. I will just show you sort of manual rollbacks. Note well that NCS will do automatic rollback on, on errors on all kinds of devices to keep the network in a consistent state. But imagine uh, you did a change. You can always pick up rollback files. And note well, the, the rollback files are at the, the service layer if it's a service modification, not just the, the device configurations because the device configuration might have been changed. So as well as for provisioning, also for, for changes and rollbacks, we always look at the current state and do the minimum diff. So a rollback here would be to go back to, let's see EVLAN, we can load that. Of course, do the dry run, so you can see what we're doing here. And save, so now we're undoing the previous change we did in, in the network. Uh, Changing services are tricky and another typical problem in, in, in networks is that configuration is left. It's easy to create config but harder to remember to clean up the config. Whenever you do decommissioning of services in NCS, we remember what we created from the service and that will be automatically removed. So we can delete this service. And here are the everything that will be removed from the network. So there's no, no traces of customer ACMA 1 and it's carry Ethernet services in the network if I hit commit here. Commit. Okay, that was the demo. Thank you.